To work with files, uh, raw files, uh, you're going to need to access the Adobe Camera Raw processor. And now this can either be done through Lightroom, of course, or going through, as I am here, through Bridge. Remember, Bridge is a free part of Photoshop. So um, the raw camera file as such uh, is designated often with an R uh, in the extension. In this case it's a .cr2 file which means this is a Canon RAW file and I can either um, ask one to go through into camera, uh, to camera raw or I can ask many files to go through into camera raw. So let's just kind of look at one file to begin with. So I can either double click it which instantly will kind of launch the camera raw processor where I can make the adjustments or in the same way if I just go back to bridge I can just come up into file and then open in camera raw and this will then actually launch itself in exactly the same way. To enlarge the window to make it e easier to work, of course, just move it over to the side and drag out the, core, uh, the corner. This will allow you to see your image in a much bigger size, helping you to kind of work with it. So as far as the uh, image process is concerned, this is where we would then make all the adjustments, but this is how we kind of bring images through. If I just press cancel for now or done, they won't make any adjustments to it. If I now bring a group of images in, so just shift click in all those, and once more I just go into Control R, which is the shortcut or Command R on the Mac to go into the Adobe Camera Raw processor, um, you can see that the four images are now launched on the left hand side. So I have two obviously from the same session here, and then basically we would want to uh, kind of make sure they're right up to date with the most current raw processor and I can either click on to the conversion as you just saw on the right hand side there um, or if they've been through the recent process then they're actually right up to date anyway so basically as Adobe updates the camera raw window for you you basically have the option to either stay as it was originally colored and converted or you can update it to obviously get more out of your image from here, of course, working with the raw files, I can either then just actually uh, grab grab the photograph and take it through into Photoshop. I can either go into Open Image down here on the right hand side, which opens the raw file into Photoshop, or I can go down to the bottom left hand side where I can select the save image and choose where I want it to be saved as. And that's the basics of working with Camera Raw.